for some of you watching right now, today was hard. It was a hard day, and you know the weeks ahead will be even harder. The governor announced that more businesses can reopen, but on uh, once again, others still can't. That means since March, some of our neighbors and friends have had little to no income, and the clock is ticking before some might close for good. Here's Lexi Wilson with more. Here at Jeff's Bucket Shop, this sign reads, Governor Cooper says, no, we cannot open yet. And while they cannot open indoors, they luckily do have a small outdoor patio. But the owner tells me a lot of bars don't have that outdoor space and a lot of bars won't get the chance to reopen. <laughs> bars like Jeff's Bucket Shop have been closed for months. My husband should not have to be driving Uber to pay our bills. Co-owner Michael Laria doesn't just miss the business. She misses this. The long karaoke nights, the regulars, the story shared over a drink. This is where people come for therapy. They need it. They need it. Under phase three, bars can open outdoors only at 30% capacity. Jeff's Bucket Shop has a small outdoor patio, but with this space, Laria says it won't do much. So we can get 10 people? That's not fair. Meanwhile, the historic Gem Theater in Kannapolis is getting ready to reopen. We're very excited to get back to business. The theater usually seats 900 people. Under Governor Cooper's order, it will have to seat 100 guests to get things back in order, get our drink machines cranked back up. And also we've got to line up our, our content, the movies. But it's places like this that are barely hanging on. Business owners getting ready to take to the streets Thursday to protest Cooper's bar restrictions. Stop treating us like we're the stepchildren that you don't care about. I'm Vanessa Rufus breaking down the numbers going into the governor's decision. He says he's seeing enough stability in North Carolina's metrics to move ahead, but not enough to open the floodgates. Health officials say three out of the state's four key metrics are level right now. We're seeing around 1300 new cases a day. Officials say high, but stable. The positive test rate hovering just above the goal line of 5%, but the past two days have been above average. A reminder officials say that stability is fragile. You see with every venue that we are opening that there are both capacity restrictions, masking restrictions, social distancing requirements. Um, so I think it is a thoughtful step forward. Governor Roy Cooper says what's opening and by how much is a factor of science and data, keeping in mind that outdoor activities with fewer people, more social distancing and masks are generally regarded as safer. For example, Example, the decision to allow large outdoor venues to bring back 7% capacity came from a Carolina Panthers proposal. The governor says it showed ample space for fans to spread out. I think one of the plans that they presented uh, was around that figure and it looked good and it looked safe for, for everyone. And I think that that was determined to be a good number for these sizes of arena. The duration of this executive order is also intentionally short compared to others. It's set to expire in three weeks. We know we're getting into cooler weather and Dr. Cohen has expressed her concern about the potential for increased virus spread. We're seeing some increases across the country and we want to make sure that we keep this window short enough so that we can react. And health officials say the one metric that is starting to increase recently here are the emergency room reports of COVID-like symptoms. It's also known as an early warning metric. So that will be one to watch going forward. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.